Our notes look like this. Yeah, mine did too, but now they look like this. All thanks to digital note taking. The good news is you don't need the latest iPad Pro with a rocket launcher stylus. It's all about how you use your tools and not how shiny they are. So let's get started. First things first, the device. The good news, you don't need the latest iPad Pro. A basic iPad, even a 6th gen or the 7th gen that I use for my college notes works perfectly for note taking. You can also explore other options like the Samsung Tab S series if you're not an Apple user. The key is choosing something that fits your budget and supports a stylus because that's literally all you need to start your note taking journey. Next up, the styluses. The Apple Pencil is the go-to for most iPad users, known for its precision, smooth writing experience and palm rejection features, meaning you can rest your hand on the screen without worrying about accidental marks. But here's the thing, you don't have to break your bank for a great stylus. The Logitech Crayon is a fantastic budget-friendly option, offering similar feel with excellent functionality, especially if you're looking for something a bit more affordable. So now that you have your device and your stylus, let's talk about the note-taking apps. So firstly, go up on App Store and search up simply note-taking apps. Personally, I use Notability and I'll talk about that later in the video. But for now, let's talk about Good Notes. This is a really famous app and you can find a million YouTube videos about Good Notes. It's all about organization with detailed folders and customization options. Next very famous app is OneNote. Now this is really good if you're already on the Microsoft ecosystem. It's a free and cross-platform powerhouse, which is again great if you're already a part of the Microsoft ecosystem. There are a bunch of free apps like this one, which is FreeNote. And I started my digital note taking journey on this app. It's really user friendly and it's a great app to start on because again, good note and notability are paid apps. Alright, so let's create your first note. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using Notability as that's the app which I use on a daily. So when you click on template settings, you're going to find different types of paper options. The grid paper is ideal for when you need more structure. It's especially useful for subjects like maths, physics or anything that requires precise diagrams, charts or graphs. So the uniform grid helps to keep everything in place. Now, if you prefer complete freedom when taking your notes, plain paper is the way to go. With no lines or grids, it allows you to write, sketch and organize your notes however you want. It's the ideal option for those who prefer a more fluid and flexible approach to note taking and for those who want to incorporate a few sketches and doodles in the boring lectures alongside. Next up, we have lined paper. This is the most straightforward and familiar one. Lined paper is perfect for traditional note taking. It's great if you're used to writing notes in a notebook because it helps keep your text aligned and organized. Whether you're writing lecture notes or jotting down quick ideas, lined paper ensures your handwriting stays neat. Now let's talk about one of my favorite features for productivity, split screen. This is a game changer especially if you're juggling multiple apps at once. Let's say you're reading an article or a textbook on one side and taking notes in your app on the other side. No more flipping back and forth between tabs or apps losing your place in the process. For example, if you're working on a biology chapter, you could have your textbook open on one side and notability or good notes on the other side. So you could write down notes, key points as you read. It's like having a digital workspace where everything you need is right in front of you. And that's it, your complete guide to getting started with digital note taking. From picking the right device to mastering your first note. It's all about finding what works for you. So, are you ready to ditch the paper mess and embrace the future? Let me know in the comments what you're excited to try first. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tips like these.